Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Welcome to the Grace Apostolic Church live stream, Facebook Live, and Zoom services in the parking lot here at the Grace Apostolic Church. We are the Grace Apostolic Church located at 4417 Dick Street, beautiful Northeast Washington, D.C., where our very fine pastor is the Honorable Bishop Ernest L. Pendleton. Hallelujah. He's also the Diocesan Bishop of the 22nd Episcopal Diocese of the Pentecostal Assemblies of the World, the District of Columbia, Delaware, and Maryland State Council. Hallelujah. We want you to know that we are the church where everybody is somebody and everybody is important. Amen. At this time, Elder Anthony Gerald is going to take us to the throne of grace, lead us in prayer, followed by Evangelist Walls with our scripture reading for today in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord, everyone. Let's hear them horns on this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're going to go before the Lord in prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you on this morning. We give your name the glory. We give your name the praise. We exalt you on today because this is the day that you have made. We will rejoice and be glad in it, oh God. We thank you, oh God. Hallelujah. God, we ask you to touch everyone under the sound of my voice, oh God. We ask you to touch this neighborhood, oh God. Lord, we ask you to let your angels encamp around about them. God, we ask you to touch our pastor as he ministers on today. We ask you to bless him. Open up the windows of heaven and pour out a blessing, oh God. Right now, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we exalt your name. We give your name glory and praise. We pray for those, oh God, that may have con contracted COVID-19, oh God. Lord, we ask you to stretch out your hand right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we ask you to have your way, oh God. We ask you to heal in a mighty way, oh God. We ask you to let them come out, oh God. Oh God, that they may testify of your goodness and your mercy, oh God. Oh God, right now in the name of Jesus, we exalt you on today. Oh God, we magnify your name. We draw strength from you, Lord. And we give your name the glory. We give your name the praise and the honor, oh God. Bless this service, oh God. That one will come, oh God, that they will give themselves over to you. Oh God, they want to go down in Jesus' name, oh God. Oh God, that will be filled up with the power of your Holy Ghost. Oh God, we thank you and we praise you. We magnify your name, God, and we give your name the glory. We give your name the praise and the honor in Jesus' name. Amen. Good morning. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise, praise the Lord, everybody. We're going to take for our scripture reading. Malachi, the third chapter. We're going to read 1 through 10. All Praise right. the Lord. If you have your Bibles, you can turn to that. If not, we're going to go ahead and read. Behold, I will send my messenger, and he shall prepare the way before me. And the Lord whom you seek shall suddenly come to his temple, even the messenger of the covenant which you delight in. Behold, he shall come, said the Lord of hosts. But who may abide the day of his coming? And who shall stand when he approaches? For he is like a refiner's fire and like a fuller's soap. And he shall sit as a refiner and a purifier of silver. And he shall purify the sons of Levi and purge them as gold and silver that they may offer unto the Lord an offering of righteousness. Then shall the offering of Judah and Jerusalem be pleasant unto the Lord as it in the days of old, as it is in the former years. Praise him. Hold on here. Yeah. And I will come near unto you to judgment, and I will be a swift witness against the, so the sorcerers and against the adulterers and against the false witness and against those that oppose the harling in his wages. Widows and the fatherless, and that turn aside the stranger from his right. And fear not, said the Lord of hosts, for I am the Lord, I change not. Therefore, you sons of Jacob, are not consumed. Even from the day of your fathers, you are gone away from my ordinance and have not kept them. Return unto me, and I will return unto you, said the Lord of hosts. But be ye, but ye said, wherein shall we return? I'm going to drop down to 10. Bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse, that there may be meat in my house, and prove me now, whether, said the Lord of hosts, if I will not open 
glory. You the windows of heaven. Asha. And pour you out a blessing. It's Sabbath. That there shall not be room enough to receive it. Receive ye the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank the Lord. Amen. For that scripture reading. Amen. Bring ye all the tithes in the tithe house. Hallelujah. And so we want to remind you, you that are listening online uh, by way of Facebook Live and live stream and zoom in. You can hit the uh, button that tells you to give and it gives you instruction on how to give to be a blessing to this ministry. We want you to be faithful when you're giving. We know the Lord loves a cheerful giver. Hallelujah. So we want you to give sparingly so you can reap. We want you to give bountifully so you can reap bountifully and not give sparingly. Be faithful in your giving and continue to support this ministry. We want you to know that you can't be a blessing to the work of God and not be a blessing unto yourself. So hit that button and, and proceed to give in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. It affords me great pleasure to bring forth the man of God with the word of the Lord here today. The Bible lets us know that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. Wherefore, let us lay aside all filthiness and superfluity of naughtiness. Let us receive with meekness the engrafted word that is able to save your souls. For we know the Lord is not slack concerning his promises, as some men count slackness, but he is long-suffering to us, what? Not willing that any should perish, but that all would come unto repentance. Having therefore these promises, dearly beloved, let us cleanse ourselves from all flesh, filth of flesh and spirit, perfecting holiness in the fear of God. For we know that the Lord has not called us unto uncleanliness, but unto holiness. The man of God, the pastor of the Grace Apostolic Church, I present to you the Honorable Bishop, Ernest L. Pendleton. Hear ye him in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord, everybody. It is so wonderful es un to be here on today, aquí hoy, here in the parking lot aquí en of the Grace Apostolic Church, 4417 Dick Street, Northeast Washington, D.C. This is such a beautiful day, and we just thank God for this opportunity that he has given us to come together one more time to give him some praise, glory, that his name is so due. We certainly thank God for all of you that have gathered here on today. And we know that you have a love for God because you came out to be with us today. And if you're not here, you still have a love for God because you're watching and listening to us on live stream and Facebook. And we just want to say praise the Lord to all of you that are watching. And we pray and that you will be blessed today out of the word of the Lord. Father God, we thank you again for your love and your mercy. We thank you, Lord, for this day. And we pray now, Lord God, that you would touch everyone that is under the sound of my voice, wherever they are located right now, in the name of Jesus. We want you to have your way in the lives of your people. We pray for healing. We pray for deliverance. And we pray, Lord, that you would touch our daughter, Sanaka. Touch her body right now in the name of Jesus. Work a miracle on her behalf. And all of those of God that are sick and afflicted in their bodies today, we pray for healing. And we pray for deliverance in your great name because we know, Lord, that you are our healer. You are our helper. You are our provider. Come for those of God that have lost their loved ones. We pray that you will continue to uphold us in your hands. And we will give your name praise, glory, and honor. In Jesus' name, amen, 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 amen. We're just happy today. And we are so grateful grateful to the Lord, amen, for all that he's doing in our lives, amen, and all that he is going to do, because we do know and realize that God is going to do great things for his people, amen, because if it had not been for him who was on our side, if the enemy would have swallowed us up, but we thank God for victory, how many praise God for victory, how many praise God for victory, how many praise God for victory? 
through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Because victory is yours. Victory is yours. You might not feel it right now, but you have the victory. All you have to do is claim it in the name of the Lord. Oh, God is such a great God. Praise him. We're going to ask you to turn with us to the book of 1 Peter, chapter number 4. We're going to read verses 12 through 14. 1 Peter, Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trials, which is to try you as though some strange thing happened to you, but rejoice inasmuch as ye are partakers of Christ's suffering, that when his glory shall be revealed, ye may be glad also with exceeding joy, if ye be reproached for the name of Christ, happy are ye, for the spirit of the glory of God rests upon you. And on their part, he's evil spoken of, but on your part, he is glorified. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. Just want to leave a thought with you today to encourage you simply because there are so many times we are depressed, we, a man, go into melancholy because of something that we are going through, there's something that someone has done to us. Amen. There's something that is happening in our lives and we just don't know how to deal with it. And we go into uh, depression because we are dealing right now with the pandemic and, and uh, so many people feel that they are being misused and there are so many people feel that they are being intruded, their lives are being intruded upon and, and, and they feel that they are not allowed to do the things that they want to do freely. But I want you to know, amen, the word of God said the suffering of this present time is not worthy to be compared with the glory. See, sometimes we've got to look beyond what we are going through, amen, and see where we are trying to get to, amen. So the thought today we want to leave with you, amen, suffering is worth the glory. Amen. Because see, we, we, if the Bible said, let us know that if in this life only we have hope, we of all men most miserable. Amen. So we have a hope beyond this life. Amen. We have, amen, something that we can look forward to. Amen. It's not so much, amen, of what I'm going through. Amen. It's what I'm trying to achieve. Amen. And I'm trying to achieve the glory of God. Amen. Because I want God's glory to, amen, to be shining out in my life. Amen. I want the world to see Jesus in me. Amen. So the glory is worth, amen, the trial. Amen. So we find here in this uh, particular chapter, amen, because Peter, amen, was encouraging the people of God. Amen. Because there are so many times, amen, when we're going through things, we just don't see, amen, the outcome. We don't know, amen, how it's going to turn out. And so this letter was written to encourage the believers to endure, amen, the intense persecution, amen, that was prevalent in the area and to prepare them for the, for the difficult times ahead of them. Amen. Sometimes, amen, if God, amen, will let us know, amen, just hang on in there, amen, because better days are coming by and by. Amen. I remember, amen, years ago when they used to sing that song uh, in the church, amen, better days are coming by and by. So we just want to encourage somebody today, amen, to let you know, amen, to just hang on in there because God is trying to work something in you and through you, amen, and so his glory can be revealed in you. Amen. So Peter admonished the believers to suffer, amen, as Christians and not as lawbreakers. Amen. The children of God, amen, that is living, amen, for him, we, we, we expect uh, trials. We, amen, expect trouble, amen, because one thing it is that the enemy, amen, gets mad when you decide to walk with God. And he doesn't want to see you, amen, live for God. But I want you to know and I want to encourage your heart today, 
Amen. Amen. To let you know, amen, that trouble won't last all way. Amen. There is something better, amen, coming for you. Amen. So trials, amen, are not, amen, are not strangers, amen, to the lives of the people of God. Amen. They are to be expected. Amen. But trials, amen, are part, amen, of the will of God. Amen. Because God warns us, amen, that if we obey him, that, that they, amen, that we, those things that he is doing through us, amen, and those things, amen, that are happening in us, amen, is just tools, amen, to bring us uh, closer to him. Amen. Trials don't come to destroy you. Amen. They come to bring you closer to the Lord. Amen. Because many times, uh, many of us won't even pray until we get in trouble. Amen. So your trouble was good for you. Amen. Because it developed a prayer life for you uh, that you wouldn't have had ordinarily. Amen. So we are to stop right there and say, Lord, thank you for the trial. Amen. Because your trial, you gave me something. Amen. To call on your name for. Because the name of the Lord is a strong tower. Amen. And the righteous run unto it in our sin. Amen. So Peter was warning them and letting them know that what you're going through is not a strange thing. Because when we are going through our trials, uh, we feel, amen, that we are all alone. And that nobody understands what I'm going through. Uh, amen. And I would use to sing a song, nobody knows. Um, uh, uh, the troubles I see, nobody knows but Jesus. Uh, uh, but I just came by just a little while to let you know, amen, that Jesus knows all about your struggles. Uh, amen. And he will answer you mind by mind. Uh, amen. So I want you to know, uh, amen, as a child of God, uh, uh, trials, amen, are not strangers to us. Uh, amen. Because the enemy is mad. Uh, and he doesn't want to see us live for God. Uh, and he doesn't want to see us walk with God. Uh, and he'll try so many times to try to discourage your heart. But I want you to understand today, amen, trouble on that's always, amen, I believe somebody said, a weeping may endure for night, but joy cometh in the morning. Hallelujah. And I want you to know today, uh, it's morning time. Uh, amen. You can start praising God. Uh, uh, you can get up off of your pretty party uh, and start giving God some glory. Uh, uh, it's morning time. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, God is getting ready to do great things in your life. Uh, uh, it's morning time. Uh, amen. God is getting ready to reveal. Uh, uh, his glory in you. Uh, uh, hallelujah. As you walk around, uh, amen, and folk think you ought to be sad, you're glad. Uh, uh, why? Because the glory of the Lord uh, uh, is being revealed in you. Uh, uh, and the world can see Jesus in your life. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, and Peter said, but love, uh, 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 think it not strange uh, concerning the fiery truth. Trials, uh, uh, which is to try you uh, uh, as though some strange thing uh, is happening unto you. Uh, amen. So when trials come, uh, hallelujah, we are suffering, uh, amen, uh, for his sake uh, and sharing the suffering uh, uh, with him. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, I want you to know when you suffer, uh, you're suffering with Christ. Uh, uh, hallelujah. Uh, that's why Paul told the Philippian church, uh, uh, for unto you uh, uh, it is given in the behalf of Christ, uh, uh, not only to believe on him, uh, but also to suffer 
Amen. Uh, for his sake. Uh, hallelujah. I'm going to want to suffer for Christ. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, I'm going to believe. Uh, amen. Uh, uh, we're suffering this with the glory. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, suffering is with the glory. Uh, and he said, having the same conflict uh, uh, which he saw in me. Uh, and now hear ye. Uh, and be and I now here to be in me. Uh, the suffering we endure now uh, is but a prelude uh, to the glory uh, that shall uh, be shared at his coming. Uh, hallelujah. Paul said to the Roman church, uh, Hallelujah in Romans 8, 18 for the reckon that the suffering of this present time are not worthy to be compared to the glory that shall be revealed in us. Saints of God, we've got something to look forward to. You don't have to hang your head. You don't have to throw in the tower. Just hold on to the Holy Ghost. Hold on to Jesus. Hallelujah. Because the harness of your expectation of the creature await us for the manifestation of the Son of God. For the creature was made subject to vanity, not willing, but by reason of him. Him, uh, who has subjected uh, the same in hope uh, because the creature uh, itself also uh, shall be delivered uh, from the bondage uh, and the corruption uh, unto the glory uh, of the liberty uh, of the children of God. Uh, thanks of God. Uh, Hold on, it's worth the glory. Oh, bless his name. Hallelujah. Amen. When the three Hebrew boys went into the fire furnace, the man they had faith uh, in that God could deliver them. Uh, he not only delivered them, uh, but he walked with them. Uh, so let me tell you something. Uh, when you are walking with God, uh, when you are living with God, uh, he'll get in your trials with you. Uh, are you here? He uh, got in the fire and furniture uh, right with the Hebrew Hallelujah. The flame wasn't cool. He just didn't allow the flame to overtake them. Let me tell you something. When you are walking with God and when you are serving Him with a pure heart, when Jesus is holding your hand, nothing can go wrong. Nothing can destroy you. But let me tell you, don't look at the flesh. The flesh might hurt. The flesh would die. But he can't hurt your spirit. Are you hearing me? He can't destroy your soul. That's why David cried out when he was in he knew the flesh could be destroyed. He said, but Lord, don't let, let my soul live. Hallelujah. We've got to cry out to God. He said, let my soul live. Let it my praise thee. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. I'm happy in Jesus. My God, my God. I want you to know something for Christ will increase your joy. I'm going to want some joy. 
Lord, have mercy. How many of you have gone through some stuff? And when God brought you out, you begin to run. You begin to praise him. Matthew 5 and 10 said, Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness sake. For there is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you. For men shall revive you and persecute you and say all oh, man of evil against you falsely for my sake he said he didn't say cry he didn't say go into melancholy but he said rejoice and be exceeding glad for great is your reward in heaven for so persecuted they the prophets which were before you hallelujah the prophets went through some stuff but they held on to God and I want you to know that gonna come a day that we can all meet together in the glory and presence of God hallelujah and when they were suffered the Bible said they departed from that of the council of rejoicing that uh, they were counted well uh, uh, to suffer shame uh, uh, for his name. Uh, uh, saints of God, uh, uh, it might look bad now. Uh, uh, they might say something to you. Uh, uh, they might call you holy roller. Uh, uh, they might call you holy than thou. Uh, uh, they might call you uh, uh, a weird. Uh, uh, but let me tell you, uh, uh, the glory. Uh, uh, is worth it. Uh, uh, hallelujah. Uh, don't be uh, 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 intimidated uh, 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 by the devil. Uh, uh, hallelujah. Uh, uh, the devil is mad. Uh, uh, the devil is jealous uh, uh, because he can't live uh, uh, a life of holiness, uh, uh, a life of righteousness uh, uh, in this present world. Oh, bless his name. My God, my God. Oh, I feel good right now, folks. Oh, hallelujah. My God, they left rejoicing. I didn't go around complaining. Come on, they had to lock me up. I don't know why they had to do it. He ain't did nothing wrong. Oh, have mercy. They didn't have time to complain. They just went away rejoicing. Don't you realize when you walk away rejoicing, it gives you strength, it gives you courage, it helps you to endure. Hallelujah. Paul said in one occasion in, the, in Romans 5, 3, he said, not only so, but we glory in tribulations also. Knowing that tribulation worketh Patience. Huh? Oh, and let me see. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Look, look, look at what God is doing. Hallelujah. Tribulation. So, in other words, if you really want to know how much patience you have, if you really want to develop patience, you have to go through some tribulation. Because you don't know who you are and what you are and what's in you until it's been tested. Because tribulation worketh patience. Uh, patience. Experience. Uh, hallelujah. If I can go through that. And that experience is going to give me some hope. Ah, and hope make us not ashamed. <laughs> Lord, have me. you don't have to be ashamed of what you're going through for Jesus. You don't have to hang your head for what you're going through for Jesus. Hallelujah. Hope. Oh, hallelujah. I have a hope that one day I'm going to live with Jesus. I'm going back with him. 
My hope one day is that when Jesus Christ himself shall descend from a heaven with a shout and with the trump of God and when the dead in Christ shall rise and those that are alive and remain going to be changed Lord have mercy and we're going to be caught up together to meet the Lord in the air that's my hope that's why I'm saying the glory is worth the trial. Oh, hallelujah. Paul, hey, this tribulation is one of the blessings of salvation in Christ. It's because you're going through something, just stay home. You might be suffering some pain, but just stay saved. Hallelujah. It might get hard sometimes, but just stick with Jesus. Uh, you're going to come out on the, in the end. Oh, the one song writes that in the end, you're going to win. Oh, hallelujah. The word tribulation refers to all kinds of trials which are to come upon us. But I want us to know today, hallelujah, we have all kinds of trials. We have financial trials, physical needs, trying a circumstance, sorrow, sickness, persecution mistreatment, illness, all kinds of trials. Hallelujah. But in the midst of these afflictions, God's grace enables us to seek his face more diligently and to produce in us a prevailing spirit and character that overcomes the trials and troubles of this life. Hallelujah. In the end, you're going to win. Hallelujah. God's grace enable us to look beyond our present problems and to have a fervent hope in him. Paul told the Roman church in Romans 5 too. He said, by whom also we have access by faith into this grace wherein we stand and rejoice in hope of the glory of God. Told the Colossian church in one, and Colossians 1 24, and who now rejoice in my suffering for you and fill up that which is behind of the afflictions of Christ in my flesh for his body's sake which is the church whereof I am made a minister according to the, the, the uh, dispensations of God which is given unto me and for you uh, to fulfill the word of God even the mystery which has been seen, been had from ages, from generations, but now it's made manifest unto his saints, to whom God will make known what is the riches of his glory and of his mystery among the Gentiles, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. Ah, glory! Ah, hallelujah! Christ in you. That's why you got to keep him in you. That's why you can't let him go. He is our hope of glory. Oh, hallelujah. My God, my God. Told the Corinthian church. First Corinthians 15, 57. But thanks be to God. Which gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast, unmovable. Don't let nobody run you out of church. Don't let nobody run you away from God. Are you hearing what I'm saying? My God, my God, my God. Somebody said that they won't let you go to church. Are they trying to take away your rights? But I'm here to let you know you're in church right now. Oh, no devil can stop you from going to church. You're in church right now. 
Oh, you might not be in the building, but you're in church. How many of you are having church right now? Oh, hallelujah. Don't let no enemy deceive you and talk about you've been shut out and, and you, your rights have been taken up. Those are the ones that don't have any hope. Oh, have mercy. When you got hope in Jesus, you can, you can have church anywhere. Are you hearing what I'm saying? We had church yesterday on Zoom. Oh, hallelujah. You can have church. Oh, my God, my God. Therefore, my beloved brother, be steadfast, unmovable, always abound in the work of the Lord. Always abound in the work of the Lord. If you're going to always abound in his work, that means you'll always be in it. Are you hearing what I'm saying? For as much as you know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Hallelujah. I mean, no suffering of this present time is worth the glory that shall be revealed in us. Hallelujah. Is anyone in my midst today? Want prayer? Want to be baptized in water in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins? We have water inside. Somebody will baptize you right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And Jesus will fill you with the Holy Ghost. Oh, if you're here, if, if you're on the sound of my voice, you're here right now. Come on, come on. Uh, don't let this day pass. Hallelujah. I heard one song right says, Sinner, don't let this harvest pass. Hallelujah. Amen. I want you to understand. Amen. But these are the last days. And these are perilous times. Men, amen, are running away from God. And men are losing sight, amen, on who God is and what he can do. And allowing the pandemic to frustrate them and cause them, amen, to, to just uh, uh, go to pieces. But I want you to know today, we are serving a God that is able to be a, do exceeding abundantly of all things that we can ask or think according to the power that worketh in us. If you have not started walking with God, you ought to start now. Because only what you do for Christ will last. Everything is going down but the Word of God. The Word of God is the only thing that will last forever. And that's why you got to get the word of God in your heart. Hallelujah. Because when you get God's word in your heart, that means you got God in your heart. And if you got God in your heart, you got Jesus in your heart. Because you can't separate the three. Because in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. Hallelujah. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory. Glory as of the up and begotten of God. Hallelujah. So you can't separate the word from Jesus. You can't separate the word from God. Oh, hallelujah. You can't have one without having the other. And I'm glad today that I'm saved. I'm glad I have the Holy Ghost down in my soul. Because I'm telling you right now, if you want to go to heaven, the Bible said, not me, the Bible said, Amen. If that spirit dwelt in you, amen, which was in Christ, it shall also quicken your mortal body. Oh, hallelujah. And I want you to know right now, Jesus is waiting for you. Jesus is waiting for you. Jesus is waiting for you. Waiting for you. Songwriter said, take your burdens to the Lord and leave them there. You don't have to walk away burdened. You don't have to walk away cast down. But take your burdens to the Lord and leave them there. Oh, what a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and griefs to bear. It's a privilege 
just to be able to take amen everything to God in prayer he's waiting for you he's able to do exceeding abundantly above all we able to ask or think according to the power that worketh in us why walk around burden why walk around cast down when you can be lifted up by the spirit and power of God oh hallelujah yes we are in church yes we're church people yes we have problems we have trials we have tribulations but we take our problems to the Lord and we let him fix it for us and I'm asking you today let Jesus fix it for you he knows just what to do whenever you pray let him have his way because he can fix it for you suffering is worth the glory Father God in the name of Jesus we thank you Oh, we praise you today. We thank you for your love and your grace. We thank you for your mercy and your strength. We give you praise for your word today. We pray that you would help us, oh God, to let your word sink deep in our hearts. Even as we go through our trials, our problems, and our heartaches, and our hurts, we know that you will be there with us. We know that you will get in our furnace with us. And you can harm, amen, calm the flame. We know you're able, oh God, to do exceeding abundant above all we're able to ask or think. And that's why we can look to you and depend on you. We thank you for your comforting spirit. We thank you for your healing spirit. Heal your people, oh God. My God, we know you're healed by us. And we're asking you right now to heal sin sick souls. Hey, glory in the name of Jesus. Oh, we glorify you today. And we uplift your name. And we give all praise, and glory, and honor to you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on, put those hands together. Let's thank the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, bless you, bless you. Yes, thank the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. You're already victorious. Thank the Lord. There's blessings and suffering. Hallelujah. There's hope in it. Hallelujah. All we got to do is put our trust in the Lord. That Hawkins family had a song back in the day that said, you haven't got to wait till the battle is over. You can shout right now. How I many know you can shout right now? Spite of what you're dealing with, spite of what you're going through, you can shout because we're victorious. It's not a fair fight. Hallelujah. My God, he made us the head. Isn't that right? Not to tell. He put us above and not beneath. I'm so grateful, hallelujah, to be a part of this great red in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. One more time, powerful word from the Lord. Thank the Lord for the honorable Bishop Ernest L. Hamilton. Hallelujah. The Lord used him mightily. In Jesus' name. We want to remind you again that are listening by way of Facebook Live, uh, live stream, and also on Zoom. We want you to be a blessing to this church. You can give by way of Givelify. Hit that button on the Give, and it give you instructions on how to give to be a blessing unto this ministry. And we can continue to bring these broadcasts to you. We thank God for our media team, the hard work. Amen. And Elder Bobby Clamp and his team, and Sister Desire, Sister. Hallelujah, Austin, and all of them that are doing such a fine job, Deacon Ben and Deacon Ralph and all everybody that, uh, with the media team, they're bringing these broadcasts to us, amen, they, they work diligently, so we're so grateful unto the Lord to be able to come to you, hallelujah, and bring you this great ministry and, and gospel, and we want you to understand that it's about Christ, isn't that right? We want you to be a part of the body of the Lord Jesus Christ, so if you can go to www.graceapostolicchurch.com dot net one word and drop us a line if you have a prayer request hallelujah somebody get back with you you have questions hallelujah concerning salvation we'll meet you we can bring you to the church and take you down in jesus name that saving name hallelujah in the name of the lord jesus christ also we want to remind you again on tuesday nights at seven o'clock we have our prayer call and uh you can go to grace 
uh, if you text GAC1 to 77948, you'll get the notifications and you'll get the telephone number. I know one number right off the top of my head is 3051-999-3854. You can dial that line on uh, a Tuesdays at 7 p.m. and somebody be bringing a word and drop a nugget on uh, to encourage the people of God and then we have corporate prayer in the name of the Lord. If you have a prayer request, again, drop us a line by way of uh, our, our, uh, our uh, Grace Apostolic website. You can go to Grace uh, Apostolic's Facebook page and drop us a line. The media team or somebody and one of the ministers will get back with you in Jesus' name. Also, again, on Wednesday nights, we have our Bible class holiday where we, we uh, Brother Marlon Wells will be bringing another exciting lesson unto you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We're so grateful again that, that we're able to bring you to you these broadcasts. And at this time, we thank the Lord for each of you. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May he let his countenance shine upon thee. And may the Lord be gracious unto thee. May he give you peace. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you.